Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Let's say it together. What a great what day for Nash County. Thank you. Uh, first thing I want to do, uh, I try to always do, is uh, introduce our Board of Commissioners. And I have, it looks like to me, I have five of us here. And uh, I'll just go down the line. The first one that is here is Dan Cones, which is in Commissioner District 3. Dan, raising your hand will be fine, sir. <laughs> I have Sue Leggett, which is District 4. I have Wayne Outlaw up here with us, who is our Vice Chair of District 5. I have Gwen Wilkins, District 6, who I understand got in pretty late last night from Commissioner Business. And uh, I'm Robbie Davis. Uh, I'm in District 7. And the ones that are not here and may walk up would be Marvin Arrington, who has District 1, and Fred Belfield, who also got in late last night uh, in District 2. Also, uh, we have uh, a few elected officials here, and I'd like to introduce those if I could. We have our Senator uh, Lisa Barnes right here on the front. I don't know what her black dress is going to look like when she gets back on, but uh, she is here. And we have our house member 25 also, our, our Pastor James Galliard on the front. I sure appreciate y'all being here. Do I have any other elected officials? I know our sheriff is in Asheville at a sheriff's conference. I talked to him last night. Okay, we, we'll move right along then. Uh, I will say that uh, I'm probably not the most passionate person in the world about animals uh, even though I have learned in life that they, they are a very great thing and things have changed quite a bit in my lifetime I was born in a family raised in a family that uh, never had an animal dog or cat in the house and that, that dwells on you quite a while but when you do get married and you marry a lady that is the ultimate pet lover with an unconditional love for pets, you do have to make some extreme changes. And uh, I certainly did with uh, the Queen or Paige, uh, certainly have learned quite a bit about animals. And I'll tell you, every animal that has stepped on our property on 43 that had four legs never left, uh, never didn't get looked after, and was always buried on the property. So we have pretty much a graveyard out there for animals, including five horses to date, I think, and the horses I do like, but uh, everything else are mostly my kids' animals that they left when they leave and go off to college, and I asked her one time with an old basset hound we had uh, that Ben left when he left home, and you know, basset hounds normally live about 89 years. They uh, have a uh, thing about them that just doesn't allow them to live for so long. This one lived 18 years, quite frankly. Very well looked after, and I wish I had a picture of the doghouse that he had that was air conditioned, that was heated, that had all kind of blankets and all in it. And I asked my wife one day, I said, uh, particularly in the dog's later years, I said, baby, do you think, uh, and my wife's a little younger than I am, I said, do you think you're going to look out for me like you did that dog when I get old? didn't hesitate she said uh, if you learn how to wag your tail every time I get home and every time I come in the house she says we'll work on that and I thought that was a great answer but just to show you uh, how important animals are to people and quite frankly uh, I have been a proponent of this particular project for a long time because of her insistence on and plus a young lady that works for me on the condition of our shelter that we currently have and we are certainly glad to get it started uh, with that said, I'm going to get out of the way and let the people that know more about this uh, to speak. And the first one I want to invite up is a dear friend of mine. And really it's probably the main reason we're here today, quite frankly, because he helped us quite a bit during this process. And at this time, I'd like to call on Dr. Dan Crocker, the executor of the Dr. Nancy Shaw Trust. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Robbie. I, I had no idea that I would um, be up here this morning. I, I knew that they were going to have a groundbreaking and I'd been invited, but uh, I was alerted otherwise So uh, when I saw the agenda. Uh, today is a day of celebration. First for me, 
uh, for the life to celebrate the life of Dr. Nancy Shaw, a physician who worked as a hospitalist in this community for approximately a decade, and secondly, the construction of a fine facility dedicated to the care and maintenance of animals. Dr. Shaw was a native of Providence, Rhode Island, uh, and during her medical career, she practiced in a number of locations in the north, out west, and ultimately came south, uh, including sites both in North Carolina and in Georgia. And unlike the carpetbaggers from the north who came south following the American Civil War seeking private gain during the Reconstruction era, Dr. Shaw's moving south has left us with many treasures, one of which we celebrate is that she lived a life of care and compassion. Her professional life centered around taking care of human beings, but her private life centered around the care of cats. Her home was full of cats, and not only that, she went out of her way to feed feral cats around the hospital, in particular the parking lot. And I'll pause and divert a little bit and tell you about a scene that I will never forget. One day I was driving into the parking lot uh, uh, at Nash General and uh, it just happened to be that I preceded her arrival. I had parked my car and I was getting ready to go in uh, to the building and uh, here comes a faded red Toyota Corolla um, uh, coupe which uh, Nancy drove, and as she rounded the bend, there was a wooded area over uh, right in the middle of the curve. And as she came into the parking lot, a line of feral cats lined up one after the other came marching to her car, at which, of course, they had been fed by her over the years. And her car was full of either empty or full bags or both of, of cat food. At any rate, after living and working in um, Nash County for a decade, Nancy moved to Vidalia, Georgia, where she continued to work as a hospitalist. And unfortunately, she died a tragic death while in Vidalia, apparently being attacked by a pack of wild dogs. Her death triggered a legacy that few, if any of us, could ever duplicate. Having lived a very frugal life, the combined assets of her trust, for which I have responsibility, and the estate that she left, totaling uh, nearly $7 million. All but $100,000 of that money was left to the care and welfare of cats. And recipients of these assets include or will include the following. North Carolina Wesleyan College, where currently a learning center is under construction for pre-vet students. In addition, there are scholarships for, uh, uh, for uh, pre-vet students and uh, also an endowment of a professorship dedicated to the cause of uh, veterinary medicine. In addition, Nash County is a recipient, along with Nash Community College and the University of Georgia Veterinary School of Medicine, a school of uh, veterinary work. She had she sponsored and uh, supported spay and neuter programs in Georgia, and, and recently uh, a recently constructed animal shelter in Cody, Wyoming. Because of the fine leadership of Nash County, the Nash County Health Department, which is charged with the animal care of this county. Nash Community College, Animal Crackers, and the legacy of Dr. Shaw. Tragedy has been converted into a fine facility, something badly needed and very positive for our area. I know Dr. Shaw would be pleased. Mankind is defined, at least in part, by how it treats its animals as well as its fellow man. The citizens of Nash County and take pride in the work underway in constructing this wonderful facility. Thank you.
Next, I'd like to invite Terry Noble up to give us a few words. She is with Animal Crackers, who Dash County used quite a bit during this process to make sure we got certain items right. And there was about five of those ladies that met with us uh, monthly for about six months and helped us from anything, picking a name to what we're going to do on the inside and so forth and so on. So, Terry, please come. <clears throat> Thank you, Robbie. First of all, it's an honor to be here today celebrating the groundbreaking of this Pet Connection Center. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. On behalf of Animal Crackers, we want to give heavenly thanks to Dr. Nancy Shaw. Her commitment, her love, and her extreme generosity to both the people and animals of this community is the reason we are here today celebrating the, groundbreak, the groundbreaking of the Pet Connection Center. We also want to give thanks to Dr. Dan Crocker. Thank you, Dan. For following through with Nancy's dream. Without his support, hard work, and guidance, we would not be here today. Chairman Robbie Davis, thank you for inviting Animal Crackers to be a part of this exciting project. We have enjoyed learning about the planning, the building, and the funding of this great facility. In closing, we are hopeful in the partnership between Nash Community College and the new Pet Connection Center. We have total confidence in Dr. William Hill, the director of the Nash County Health and Human Services and his staff, and we know that the Pet Connection Center will make a huge impact in the very cause that is very dear to our hearts, stopping the overpopulation of cats and dogs in our community and finding forever homes for our furry friends. Thank you. Next speaker doesn't need introduction, uh, and if he did, he sure wouldn't have for the last couple of years. Dr. <laughs> Hill. Um, thank you very much for the opportunity to be here. I'd be remiss if I didn't start off by recognizing Mr. Rogers for the idea of paying $510 for this tent today. <laughs> you know, I didn't like that, but I'm glad not. <laughs> I'd also like to say that, uh, uh, recognize again Dr. Crocker, the trustee, this wonderful trust for Dr. Nancy Shaw. I do remember her, and she was a wonderful person. Uh, uh, I remember seeing her at the hospital and the cats on many occasions, and she was just a good-hearted person and did a lot as a hospitalist. She was a nocturnal hospitalist over at the hospital. You'd see her all the time late at night. And I certainly, uh, for that money, I, I'll never forget that call that day that Dr. Crocker gave me, uh, I think about 6, 6.30 one night, about a year and a half ago, and said, do you need some money for a new animal facility? I said, are you kidding? <laughs> we do. And here we are at a groundbreaking opportunity and ceremony today. Of course, the commissioners came up and have been extremely supportive. Our Nash County commissioners have always been and stepped up and found the additional funds for what we thought was going to be a million and a half dollar facility turned into a two and a half million dollar facility. But we look forward to the future spaciousness of such a facility and what we can do with keeping animals longer and hopefully promoting adoptions even much longer. Uh, I certainly want to recognize our Human Services Board. We've got Ms. Thurman here and maybe another board member or two. They've been extremely Human Services Board. is a very functional board and one that we have looked to, one that I report to, and one that has been very supportive of our animal control activities. And certainly animal welfare groups. We have enjoyed the relationship we've had with animal welfare groups. Uh, it's, it's just been a great opportunity with animal crackers who cer certainly have sponsored many times with spayed and neutering programs and efforts and the other groups that have rescued animals. It's been a wonderful opportunity to work with them. Our animal control officers, what great guys. 
ladies and men that we have here. And Mr. Williams and Ms. Williams, they're not husband and wife, by the way, but officers <laughs> in kind. And Miss Natalie's not here. She's out on medical leave. And we have Ron Roy from the city of Rocky Mount, superiors from the Rocky Mount uh, Police Department. We very much appreciate that opportunity. Emile County, our esteemed county attorney is here, Vince Durham, and we appreciate that. And our social services director have many department heads, uh, Jonathan Boone and others. Um, but the animal welfare group has really done quite a bit to work with us. We can't help but look to our neighbor, the community college, a bright star, that we look to them for the vet uh, tech program we have already worked very closely with them. We look, obviously look forward to working more closely with spay and neutering, with all the animal welfare issues, medical procedures that they will be doing, and we'll be hand in glove working with that tech program. We just welcome that opportunity so much. And our name, Nash County Pet Connection Center. That should become our mission statement, Pet, pet Connections. And I hope that that's what we'll live by, to afford more opportunities, to bring more pets into families. These uh, dogs and cats that are pets to be, hopefully will end up in homes and be uh, loved like many of our family members are, and they become family members in their own environments. This new uh, facility, as I said before, will be much more spacious. It will allow us to keep animals much longer, allow us to keep more animals, hopefully enhance our adoptions and that's what we're looking forward to doing in the future. Without any further ado, I will turn it over, back over to the chairman. I think our whole board felt one of the most exciting things about this whole project is the fact that we were able to partner with our community college with their vet tech program, which has made it uh, made us understand this is the right thing for us to do. We were able to also help the community college with additional land they needed in the process. And with that said, I'd like to call on our president, Dr. Lou Honeycutt, for further speaking, sir. Thank you, Chairman Davis. I'm not sure, but I think it's going to rain here in a minute. So <laughs> I have to tell you, Senator Barnes and I were talking before this about how to make it rain. And we talked about leaving windows down, washing cars. Now we need to add groundbreaking. So I think Farm Pack needs to do some kind of groundbreaking and I think it would solve the issue. But, but I am Lou Honeycutt, thank you Chairman Davis. I have the honor of serving as the fifth president of, of Nash Community College and, and I don't take that lightly. We were so thankful, all of us at Nash, to hear about the decision to place the Pet Connection Center here on this property next to the college. Nash County is not only an important funding partner for us, but the commissioners, the county employees are, are stalwart in their idea that the, the college needs to do well and prosper and certainly we do that um, through funding in many other areas. We had already worked or still do with the current facility but the, locating this facility on, on next to our campus is going to really just enhance all those partnerships that we continue to have. We are again terribly excited about that. I would be remiss if I didn't also kind of expand on something the chairman just said in addition to the facility going here, the Pet Connection Center, the, the county did another great thing. We had a, a definite need. We had a need for driver training. And if you've looked around the country, looked around the county, looked around the region, you know this. And so what the county has done is deed 14 of these acres, almost the road will almost be about right here where it is, so that we can build a driver training center. We had state dollars, thank you, Senator Barnes, to be able to do this with. And it will help not only our commercial truck driving program, which is full, we offer a class every five weeks and they are full. Uh, but it'll also offer uh, driver training to our basic law enforcement uh, cadets, our fire cadets, our EMS training students, uh, electric line students, and also people looking to get motorcycle training. So we're very, very excited that, you know, we live just right over there. And that's a great thing that we'll have this pet connection, then we'll have the driving connection next to the campus. So we're very, very thankful for that. So congratulations, I'm watching the rain, so I'm talking quick. Congratulations to everyone who works and lives in Nash County for the Pet Connection Center project. I have no doubt we're all going to be proud of this facility and what it does to match more and more animals with their forever homes. Thank you, Chairman Davis and the Board of Commissioners, Commissioners for choosing to locate this county asset next to another county asset that I like to call Nash Community College. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Honeycup. Our next speaker will be Gail Harrell, who is the Director, Veterinarian of our Medical Technology at Nash Community College. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I am so excited about what today means for all the animals of Nash um, County, as well as the continued collaboration between Nash Community College's Veterinary Medical Technology Program and <clears throat> the new sh um, shelter. I'm sorry. Now the center. <laughs> Our students have already benefited in so many ways from this relationship. And in return, uh, we have been able to help so many of the animals of Nash County by improving their health and thus making them much more um, attractive to adopt when they go back to the shelter. The health care has also alleviated some of the costs that the rescue groups usually have to spend when pulling animals from the shelter. We look forward to continuing to our work together for the benefit of Nash County, the animals, the veterinary medical technology program of Nash Community College. Thank you for making this happen. Our closing remarks will be brought to us by another gentleman that really doesn't need introduction. We are sitting right in the middle of his commissioner district and I'll call on commissioner. Uh, Vice Chair Wayne Outlaw this time. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Being the last of many speakers this morning, my comments are going to be reflective of how former actress Elizabeth Taylor was with her many husbands. <laughs> she didn't keep them long. <laughs> so I'll try not to keep you long. Thank you for being with us today to celebrate the groundbreaking ceremony for this new state-of-the-art Nash County Pet Connection Center. On behalf of the Nash County Board of Commissioners, and I might add that uh, Commissioner Arrington came in after we'd started. Thank you for being here, sir. This new state-of-the-art Pet Connection Center, Nash County. A day that was made possible in large part by a generous financial contribution from the trust of Dr. Nancy Shaw. Once completed, Nash County working in collaboration with Nash Community College, this center will provide the very best in animal services as well as enhancing animal adoption opportunities. It has been said that there are at least two rules for achieving success. Get started and keep going. Nash County has got started and completed many capital projects in the last 13 to 14 years. And I might add that all of these, every one has been completed without a property tax increase. Today, this center is just another example of Nash County getting started and keeping it going without a property tax increase. Thank you again for being with us today. Now, Chairman Davis, Let's start digging. <laughs> Thank you, Wayne. Uh, I, I want to acknowledge a couple of other people here who've been in the same business. Uh, I know how important it is to have a good team when you start a project of this nature. And we had a great team, and we also will have a great team moving forward. Uh, with us today is Charles King with Dawson Construction Services. Charles is in the back. He was our architect. Or they were our architect on the project. And we have Andrew uh, Stocks with Stocks Engineering, who is right here. They were our civil uh, project uh, coordinator or engineer on the job. And from a personal standpoint, the most important person is the contractor. Uh, and Ardell Builders, we are so fortunate to have from right here in Nash County. And, and uh, Kevin Barnhill in the back. Kevin, if you'll raise your hand, sir. And he gets the uh, very rare occasion of building the same building twice. So uh, he's, he, he's going to get it right. I know he will. Uh, we were fortunate that Wilson uh, County built the same building a couple of years ago. We talked to their administration. They had no problem with us uh, moving forward with pretty much using the same plans, which saved us quite a bit of money. And we got to tweak what things they told us they would do different. You don't get that chance in life many times either. 
And when we get through with this one, we're going to pass these plans off to Edgecombe County. We have two representatives here today, at least two, maybe more. Uh, they are looking at building a new facility. I appreciate y'all being here, and uh, I'm sure Mr. Boone will share with you what Wilson County shared with us when you get ready to move forward. And we uh, hope y'all were successful in the fundraising as we were. So look forward to that happening as well also. I do want to make one little comment. Uh, Mr. Boone, who is very involved in our United Way uh, fundraiser each year with the county, had uh, he and his team had a car wash uh, two Saturdays ago. And I understand he's going to set back up when he leaves here today <laughs> over in the administration <laughs> lot. And they got a couple of guys from RDU going to be there to polish shoes also. So when you leave here, if you want to go through the administrative parking lot, Jonathan, you will be ready, correct? Send them on. Send them on, okay. Thank you all.